What's up everyone, Tina here and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use the SEO suggester and the new HTML language attribute selector. So the goal of the SEO suggester really is to help you rank on Google. Ranking organically on Google means you don't need to spend money on ads and you get free traffic. So the SEO suggester is really there to help you rank on Google and other search engines. I think it's very crucial to be visible on a search engine, especially if you're a local business. SEO, search engine optimization, means you create content around your niche and Google or any other search engine will help you to show this to people when they Google that particular keyword. But to be able to rank and be visible, we have to consider a few things. So let me show you the basics. So the SEO suggester is available under sites and then either under funnels or websites. In this example, let's go to funnels and select a demo funnel. Let's open our funnel and click at the SEO metadata icon at the top right here. And then you will see this pop up sliding in from the left. So let's get started from the top. So actually now the SEO preview URL is new, which allows you to see the URL, which will be displayed in the search engine search. So if you go back to the funnel, you can see the URL right here. And that's the same URL that's been shown right here. So now let's talk about the content. First, we start off with the title. And by title, I mean, if you go over to Google, for example, and you put the keyword friendliest dog breeds into Google, then you will see loads of different searches popping up. The biggest line right here, that's the title, okay? So whatever you type into the title box right here will eventually show up right here. Then here we have new suggestions, which will definitely help you to get a better score altogether. By hovering over the little information icon right here, it will also tell you exactly what you need to do. So now you can see a green check mark if the title is under 70 characters, and you can see a green check mark if the title and domain name are unique. So let's say we have a title that is longer than 70 characters. Let's just copy this, type that in here twice, which is more than 70 characters, and then you will see the error message right here. So you know you need to go ahead and fix something. Quick note here about the uniqueness of the domain name and the title. If you squeeze in your domain name too many times into the title, search engines can see you as a little bit spammy and not so credible. Moving further down, we have the description. The description is the meta description, which is this text right here. You can see this page has squeezed in just loads of different keywords, which works, right? Because they are ranking number one for this particular keyword. Let's scroll down and let me show you another one here. These people have actually put proper sentences into their description. So let's copy that. Let's put that here and let's see what it says. The page has meta description. Yes, we have added it. Here you can just give a quick overview what the article is all about or what the website is all about, the page within the website that you're trying to rank. Make sure that your description is below 155 characters and definitely make sure it's a unique meta description as well. You don't wanna just copy like I just did. I'm just doing this for the demo and for an example, but you don't wanna do the same thing because Google will actually detect that. All right, scrolling down to keywords. So there's a ton of different tools out there that can help you to find really good keywords. Typically, you want to look for high search volume and low competition. So right now, our search term was friendly as dog breeds. So we can type this in. Then we could say dog breeds kids friendly, for example. This is called a long-term keyword. Then we can say dog breeds and we can say dogs, which is probably high competitive keyword. But long-term keywords are often really good and help you to rank higher as well. Then further down the author, you want to say who wrote this article because this represents authority to Google as well. Then you want to add a social image. A social image is the image which will show up if you post the article on social. Let me show you how that looks like. Let me grab one of my articles here. Let me post that on Facebook, for example. And here you can see it pulled this particular image. So this particular image got uploaded into this box and therefore Facebook pulls that particular image. Make sure it's a really nice click worthy image in order to get more clicks to your website as well. If you want to drive organic traffic when you post your articles all over your social media platforms. Next up is links and tags. So here you can add different tags as well, which are just related to your article. What is this article about? What is your page about that you want to rank? Alternatively, you can also here add the tag in order to not appear in search engines at all. So click add and here's just two things you need to fill out, a name and the content. Let's say you want to delist this page from ranking because maybe it's just a thank you page from one of your funnels or one-time offer and you don't want people to be able to find this without opting in first. So under name, you want to insert robots, which means all the search engines, not just Google, not just Yahoo, not just Bing. It means all the search engines out there will not be able to index that particular page. Then under content, you just want to insert no index and no follow, hit add, and that way this page will not be ranked. However, if you want it to be ranked, then you would insert different tags which are related to your article. Next up are the canonical links. What the heck is that? 
A canonical URL is the version of a web page chosen by search engines like Google as the main version when there are duplicates. Meaning down here you can see example.com slash blog, right? In the alternate URL, maybe you have another URL like I have here, the slash page one. And that means, oh, Google is confused. Which one is the main URL and which one should I rank? Then Google just automatically goes for this one. However, Google doesn't always make the decision that you would like. So here you can influence which kind of link do you want it to prioritize. And then last but not least, the very new feature is the HTML language attribute selector, which means you can select your language right here. We keep it at English and then hit update SEO meta. Make sure to publish this at the top right corner as well. And that's it. Everyone should really be inserting those data into the sites or the funnels and make sure you can start ranking on search engines. I will see you in the next video.